So I'm back um, and I think, I guess it's been so long since we've been really on the ball and making the videos that we should have been making that actually um, I need to start with a bit of honesty um, and share with you all where, where we've been. Um, I guess Katie needs to explain um, her side, wh where she's been and what she's been thinking and doing recently. Um, she's been working really hard and um, putting a lot of her time and effort into her other work. Um, and for me, I've been in a bit of a black hole. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've been struggling with everything that's happened this year. Um, I think everything that is supposed to be massively stressful and put loads of strain on you in life, I've managed to pack all into one year. Um, it was June last year that Guy and I decided we were going to separate. <sighs> and for me, that was the start of the hardest year of my life. Um, my Anna's horrible I guess. Um, I have tried so hard this year to keep my head above water, to stay strong. I've had I have realized what incredible incredible friends I've had around me um, and this year has really honestly been a year that's nearly broken me but here I am a year on and it hasn't broken me although <laughs> although you're probably thinking the opposite right now um, I haven't let it break me um, for three reasons I've I've got three little people that are relying on me to stay strong, they're relying on me to get through and they're relying on me to show them love every single day of their lives. And mentally I've been pushed, well I've pushed myself because I knew I couldn't stay in my relationship any longer. I tried and tried and tried and I'm going to make more videos talking about that. Um, um, it's been so tough. We decided to separate a year ago, having been through counselling with more than one counsellor for years, um, for putting up with things that perhaps neither of us should have put up with without dealing with, um, for battling on for so long. And finally we decided to separate. In this year, I've managed to, we've sorted out our financial situation. Um, we went through and got our decree Nisi and then we got our decree Absolute so we're completely divorced. Um, I moved out of the family home with the children um, because I had to and we rented a house and then I realised that whilst I was renting a house and looking for somewhere to buy, actually this house which is the one that I was renting was the place that was a happy home for me and for the children. In one year, since last June, we've separated. I've been on my first holiday on my own with the children as a single mum. Um, yeah, I, just so many things. Moving house on my own, which I was doing on my own anyway, but um, yeah, being completely on my own with three children, it's really, really tough. And lots of anxious thoughts about the future. Um, being on my own forever. There's so many things that come with divorce that you don't expect. And you think it's just about making a choice to separate from somebody you're not getting on with. It's really not. There's so many things that I didn't expect to have to deal with. Massive emotional, emotional tough times with the boys. Um, not in really obvious ways, you know, in kind of I've had to be really on the ball with them emotionally to identify when they're just being naughty children or when there is a reaction to something that they're not understanding internally. And it's really, really, really been a tough year. Um, and I'm at the end of it. <laughs> we're, we're in June and I am divorced. Um, I can speak to my ex-husband. Um, it's not always ideal. We're trying to work out how to 
raise our children but separately um, and yeah I mean it just it's been really really hard and now I'm here in my house which it still needs loads of work doing to it I'm absolutely exhausted from managing builders and renovations and making decisions um, and if you've ever suffered with your mental health um, you know that decision making is one of the hardest things to do um, and quite often you can't make decisions it's really really hard and I've put myself in a position by needing to renovate the house with it there's nobody to say, you know there's nobody to say do you like those curtains should we go for that um, there's no one to give you a second opinion when you're on your own um, and same with the kids there's nobody at the end of the evening you're sat on the sofa on your own there's nobody to say can we just talk about his behavior or his behavior can we talk about why that happened today um, how can we deal with this tomorrow it's really hard the only person who can make the right decisions for the kids and the right decisions for the home is you when you're on your own and it, it's really really tough and I guess there's been a lot of things to get used to. I'm eternally grateful for the for the friends that have really stuck by me. And it's not just the friends that live close to me. I've had some incredible support just through the odd message from some of the other Channel Mum vloggers, um, some of some of my old friends from years back who have sent really encouraging messages and supportive messages and actually even sometimes one message from somebody who thinks you're doing okay or who knows you need a bit of a lift can make so much difference to your day um, it's really really tough and I'm gonna try and share as much of it as I can with you because I I don't feel like I've ever shared enough of me um, and I feel like perhaps Katie and I find it very easy to sort of make videos about things that aren't emotional or aren't tough and actually I've been through an incredibly tough year and I know that there's loads of other people who are also going through really tough times and I just feel like I need to be a little more honest about what I have gone through and how I'm getting through it. I needed to force myself to make a video um, to say that I'm back, to say that I'm not, I haven't given up, I haven't given up on Hey Mummy, I haven't given up on YouTubing, I haven't given up on life. Um, and yeah, and thanks for being patient, the people that have been patient, the people that have sent messages, knowing what I'm going through. Um, thank you so much and yeah I'll share a bit more with you later on this week but that's where I am today and um, hopefully this is the start of new times I feel like I've closed a chapter of my life on such a tough year and now I'm hoping that this video is the start of opening a chapter a new year and hopefully a more positive year 